Hey guys, this is George, or Blenderbug, and I'm here to show you how to use alpha textures in the Blender game engine. Um, for this tutorial we'll be using um, Blender 2.58 because it's now considered stable. Um, I mean, well, I'd be using it anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Alright, um, so we got to make this outside part and these inside parts um, transparent. So easiest way to do that is use the fuzzy selection tool and click the outside and shift click the inside parts. Um, right click layer um, transparency and add alpha channel. After you, after you add the alpha channel you can click delete and it will create an alpha channel on the parts you selected. Um, now you can save. Now originally when I downloaded this um, picture it, it was uh, saved as a JPEG format but unfortunately Blender doesn't support that for tra transparent uh, planes so we're gonna have to change it to PNG. And then we can save. All right, so from here, um, let's just delete that cube and make a plane because we want just because we want a plane. Um, I'm gonna have a, another window here just for a UV image editor. Um, going, going and clicking tab to edit mode, Control E to mark seam, and U to unwrap and now we can open up an image in the editor go to where you saved it and open it up um, now you can see that um, it's still green but the PNG file format actually saved it as transparent so you don't have to worry about it we just have to activate the transparent mode so while you're in edit mode with a face selected go to object data and make it two-sided in the texture face options um, you don't have to do that but I don't know, for the hell of it and instead of opaque transparency you need to change it to alpha this way the alphas are activated and you can actually sh see where um, the parts you're supposed to see so yeah that's it I hope you guys learned something from this I tried to make it as quick as possible um, yeah.